Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Hello. They're at the house right now. What the hell is going on here? Huh? Take your Oh, okay. okay. You're not moving okay. fast enough. Yes. Turn your I won't. No. No. Dead. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hang me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up, camera. <laughs> Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Greetings, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to this presentation of Cheaters. Please meet Andrea Pleasant, the young lady who suspects her boyfriend may be up to something while she's at work. Disturbed by the prospect of infidelity, Andrea comes to Cheaters seeking the guidance she so desperately needs. Andrea Pleasant, age 27, a nursing assistant who fears her boyfriend may be slipping away. Ranger Mike, we've been staying together for about two years. We got us a house, and we want to have a family one day. Jermaine is a good man. He was faithful. I got my little rose. A little rose in the morning, wake up to breakfast. You know, he might sing a little song to me. You know, I'm his sunshine. Uh, I'm, a, you know, he always tell me I was his queen, and I feel like he was my king. We have an answer machine at the house, and I got partial of the answer, the message, and I heard a female. I don't recognize, but I know it was Jermaine, definitely, definitely. And he was saying something like, call me on my cell phone. That got me puzzled. And then a couple items from the house is missing, and I recognize it's not there, like my money and clothes. If I find out Jermaine is cheating on me, that's going to really hurt. My feelings, my emotions, my love, my heart is, is going to be broken. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Jermaine White, age 25, an arcade manager who may be playing around while his girlfriend works the graveyard shift. Investigation day three. Cheaters agents move into position near the residence that Andrea shares with her boyfriend. After hours of waiting, PIs see an unidentified vehicle approaching the house. An unknown female exits the car and strolls up to the front door. Cheaters investigators watch closely as the female friend is escorted down the walkway to her car by suspect Jermaine White. They're tailed several miles to a local bar and grill. After a delightful dinner, the couple is followed to a nearby superstore where the two are observed holding hands while browsing the aisles. After making a few purchases, the pair departs the mall and is pursued by Cheaters detectives back to the suspect's residence. Investigation day seven. Cheater's agents spot suspect White's companion just as she pulls up to the front of his residence. The investigators now have positively identified her as Lynn Smith. She disappears behind suspect White's closed door and is not seen again for some time. Eventually, companion Smith and the suspect show their faces as they advance toward her vehicle. A few miles later, the couple is observed pulling into a popular eatery. 
They get out of the car and make their way to the entrance. Cheaters investigators believe there's more in store this evening as they follow the loving couple to a local cocktail lounge. Amidst conversation and kisses, the two finish their drinks and depart. As they move through the parking lot to Companion Smith's car, Suspect White decides it's time to retreat back to his place. They disappear inside the home, and Cheaters PIs call it a day. Investigation Day 9. After a long while, Companion Smith pulls up to the front and honks the horn. The suspect is out in a flash, and the two are primed and ready for a night on the town. Suspect White and Companion Smith indulge in tacos and margaritas for a good hour or so. They make a quick stop at a local gas station to pick up some wine coolers and a few snacks. Little do they know that Andrea installed a hidden camera to watch over things while she's away at work. Suspect White just doesn't seem to understand the meaning of dignity, as verified in this recorded phone call with his loyal girlfriend, Andrea. Cheaters' agents bring the case to a close after realizing that Andrea needs to put a swift end to her boyfriend's misconduct. After the break, the confrontation. With confirmation of Jermaine's betrayal in hand, Cheaters alerts Andrea to her boyfriend's secret activities. Prepared for the worst, Andrea turns her focus to liberation from an unhealthy relationship. Andrea, thank you for being here. I know that when you contacted us initially, you did so with a heavy heart because the relationship that you've been in with Jermaine for the past four and some odd years um, was concerning you. Are you ready to take a look at some of the information that we've been able to find out for you? Okay. As the investigation starts, Andrea, we were outside your home. A female drives up. And after a very short while, we observe Jermaine leaving with this female. They go to a restaurant, have something to eat. Nothing really was observed out of the ordinary. They leave and are now followed to our store, where at this time you can see that him. they were holding hands. Mm -hmm. They drive back home, and she leaves. Okay. Now, on this day, the same female arrives at your home or followed again to another restaurant. After there, you can see them coming out, and they're holding hands again. They do go to a bar where you can see them nuzzling one another. And after the time at the bar, here they come, again, showing some intimacy. Oh, they're kissing as they go out to the car. Mm. I know, I'm sorry. All right. We had you place a hidden camera inside your home. On this occasion, Jermaine is again picked up. They travel to a grocery store, pick up some items, go back to your home. And I'm sorry to say this is what's taking place in your home while you're at work. And they retire to another room. No. Jermaine, again, is with this young lady. They're at the house right now. They've been there for about 20 minutes. Are you ready to go? Let's come with me. Hang on. Yeah. OK started to see some lights go off. So I know they're gonna be there for a while. All right, we're on our way. Are you out front? Okay, yep, I see it. Okay, you ready? Okay, you stay right here. Okay. 
All you need to do is if you could just unlock the door. What the hell is going on here? Huh? Hey, I'm Joey Draco with Cheaters. Hey, huh? No, no, who, who is this? Who is this? You ain't got no reason to be coming at me because that's your mother. Hey, whoa, whoa. What you doing up in my house? I don't give a fuck. What you doing up in my house? Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, he the one can't hey, tell hey, you that he hey, don't want to be with you. He don't want to be with you. He don't want to be with you. You know what? You know what? You finna turn your ass. You finna turn your ass. Can y'all leave? Can This is Can y'all leave? This is So we're here for Andrea. Get the away from me. What were you doing? With this young lady, it ain't no, when you're, when you're. Don't worry about it, man. It ain't no, when you're, when you're. Don't worry about it, man. Take your. It ain't none of your concern. You take your, your mother. If you can't tell her you don't want to be with her right now, you need to let her go. Take your. Oh, you're not moving fast enough. You're not moving fast enough. No, get this. Get all these cameras back. Damn. Either you need to tell her, either you need to be with me, or either you need to let her know. Whoa, hey. Excuse me, let's go. I'm more than welcome. this could have burned tonight, bitch. Let's go. You ain't gonna turn your ass. I got something for you, buddy. Coming up next, the conclusion. Let's go. You ain't gonna turn your ass. I got something for you, buddy. Jermaine, you, this is the woman that you said you love. Your hypocrisies are not victimless, Jermaine. Come on, baby. Burn for mama. Turn your bitch ass. Oh. Yeah, oh. Your on fire, mister. Turn your mother ass. Turn your. I won't. No. No. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Don't put that. Burn. 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 Keep this away from her. Thank you. You're gonna be all right. This was four years. What did I do wrong? Don't turn this into what you did wrong. You were committed. I don't know if setting his clothes on fire was the answer. I don't have to worry about him coming back. That there, that was a relief. It really was. Okay. Just promise me that that's the only thing you're gonna set on fire. Okay. Damn, yeah, you wanna talk to us for just a minute in private? Can you go back here? Talk to you in private for a second. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Sure. Um, where do you think? Where do you think he went? I have slightest idea. You think he's gonna come back? I doubt it. Yeah, okay. Is there any physical between you and him tonight? Well, not exactly. He was just pushing all on me. And I was just... All right. Well, so we just want to make sure you're going to be okay. I mean, I'm okay. This is up to you. If you want to do this with the cameras, that's fine. So. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ma'am. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go now. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be all right? Sure. If you need anything, you call us. Thank you. Right. Yeah, we're headed out right now. Well, we have our friends in law enforcement. They're going to stick around and kind of patrol the area. And we've got a detective that's going to stay on site and just kind of keep an eye on her until uh, she feels a little more comfortable. All right, thanks.
Good job. All right. After the confrontation, Andrea reassures herself that she's not responsible for Jermaine's deception. Coming up shortly, Cheaters reveals what Andrea has in store for her new life. But now, Cheaters revisits Margot Vargas, a young lady confronted by her lover on a past show. Margot comes to Cheaters to express her views on the incident. Margot Vargas, age 20. Margot pays a visit to Cheaters to talk about the Jerry Vielma case and why she chose to be unfaithful to such a nice young man. When I saw the Cheaters cameras <laughs> come out, when I was coming out the store, it was, I was like, no, he didn't. I'm gonna kick his ass, but I wasn't gonna do it on TV, you know? But I didn't feel that bad because nobody knows what he did, you know? Nobody knows what he did to me. And, I was just like, man, he's just getting the better half of the story, but that's okay. You got some explaining to do. Let go of his hand. What's your problem? What are you huh? Doing? What are you doing? What the hell's your problem? What are you doing, what are you doing with what him for the past three days? Oh, she don't want you, man. Oh, my God. You're so stupid. You're just going to run off Margo. from that, Margo? Yeah, yeah, you want to explain? Am. This is stupid. Margo. I thought you loved him, didn't they? Did you not tell him this morning you loved him? Everybody doesn't realize, you know, they thought I was a bad person, but he makes good money, and you can't make good money sleeping all day, so he wasn't having a normal job. He had a bad job, you could say. And I left for a good reason, because what if the police would come one day and my kids, they just take my kids just for his stupidity? You know what he told me? He said he loved you. Do you not even care about that? No, I don't. Look at this stupid he does. It's because you've been lying to him. You call this stupid. He just wants to know the truth. And this is what you do? And this fella doesn't even care. You don't care? What if she does it to you? Well, my kids, um, they really like Jerry. For some reason, I don't know why, but they they still, I'm sad to say it, but they still do ask about him. And um, I don't know what to say not anymore, you know, other than he's gone, or I try not to talk about it. But Jesse, he treats him okay, you know? he's He can't be their father, but he's a father figure, at least. They... If it was Jesse or Jerry, I'm pretty sure they wanted Jerry. I mean, the way she was acting, man, I mean, I don't think she wants to be with me anymore, the way she was acting. But she could have she could have told me. She didn't have to do it behind my back. Right. Just be honest with you and then yeah. let you make smart decisions for yourself. Yeah. Instead of leading somebody on, you know? That's why I said she's using me for my money, because, you know, I, I buy her kids everything. Right. Me and Jerry, we had something good but now I have something better. And he's my life, and he's gonna be my life. We're gonna get married Saturday, and we're gonna spend the rest of our life together. Andrea Pleasant is still distraught and says it will take a long time before she can once again trust a man. She's looking for new priorities in her life and mentions that work is now at the top of that list. She says that men are now on the back burner and nothing will sway her decision. As for his involvement, Jermaine White insists that he's innocent, noting that cheaters set him up in a classic case of entrapment. He says that nobody would have gotten hurt if cheaters hadn't stuck their noses in someone else's personal business. Mr. White is furious that all his belongings went up in flames and is determined to have Andrea reimburse him for several expensive items of clothing. Andrea refuses to speak with him and will not return any of his phone calls. Lynn Smith declined to speak with Cheaters producers and offered only one comment saying, you guys are the homewreckers, not me. 